Yo, Karla Fretta, my name is Arnold. And today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to blur out faces or whatever else you want to blur out in Premiere Pro. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. We are going to blur out this <laughs> face here. So we're gonna blur out her and it's pretty simple. So locate effects, you can find it here. In effects, you write mosaic, mosaic. In here on the video effects stylize, you find mosaic and you just have to drag it on. Bam. <laughs> There's a little bit more. So what you do then is we can start by making the mosaic a little bit smaller. Let's say just 45. 35 doesn't really matter, it's just a point of preference. And now what you do, we need to create a mask. If you're doing a face, I recommend having a circular mask. And if you're uh, make the blurring like the license plate, a rectangle is pretty cool, or you can like make your own. So we are growing a face, so you press circle, but then you like basically just resize it by dragging and clicking on these here, and then you can easily resize it to match her face, okay? And we place it over. And here you can, we can make it a little bit smaller. And then you can also mess with the feather, having a lot of feather, like we can not this much, just to make it a little bit more feather is, like so. And now we need to create keyframes because it's not moving with her. So look, it's going like so, and then the mask is staying, but we need to make the mask move, you know, with her face. And that's easily done by using keyframes. So if you go here, like toggle animation, and now you all you do is just move it and I like to hold in shift and move to the right that moves five frames and then I resize like remove it a little bit more all right and then you do it again five frames and we move it a little bit more and this is a little bit time consuming but basically just moving a few frames I don't know don't, you don't have to do it every frame I like to just hold in shift but you can move how much you like and uh, yeah you just move it until the end so let's do it together and sometimes when objects are moving closer, you might have to, you know, resize it like here. Then you just resize it again and it easily is going to be have done with the keyframes. Just like so. And we just keep moving it. So, now it's finished and now it looks like this. And you see how it moves with her. It's, it's pretty beautiful, right? Look, <laughs> one more time. <laughs> it's like magic. I love editing. So. Uh, this is super simple, mosaic, drag it on, and then you need to create a mask, and then you just keyframe it. You can watch the video again if you didn't get it. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and comment it down below. I'll promise that I will do my very best to answer. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out the pace. Yes, if you could smack that like button for me, it would really help. Did I already say that? I don't know, I like to talk, so I just ramble a lot. <laughs>